today's episode of I Need to Get My Life Together. It's going to be a, um, a get ready with me blog. So basically what's on the schedule today is um, I'm about to hit up the gym. Look at this outfit. Isn't it the cutest? I just got it and I'm so in love. But um, I will be going to the nail salon. I need to get my toes done, my eyebrows waxed. And then we're going to just like sit down and do our hair and makeup together and chit chat and pack our bags for work. And we're back looking like a completely different person. All right, guys. So it's been a whole other day. I think I'm going to actually turn this into the week or a week in a life of a stripper because to be honest with you guys, one day is not enough. I am, I gotta show you guys this outfit really quick. Isn't this adorable? Like, oh, I know it's really skimpy. It's so skimpy. It looks better in person. Ew, my thing is dirty. Hold on. Like, hold on. Everything about this outfit is just, <gasps> my earring fell off. Oh, my back hurts. Okay. Anyways, I am gonna go have dinner with a friend before work. And when I get home, I'm gonna do a money count, but um, I'm feeling a little bit like a Puerto Rican Dolly Parton, which is okay. But um, when I get home, we're gonna do a money count, and I think I'm just gonna bring you guys like for the whole week. I'm gonna bring you guys around for the whole week. This is not the best angle. I look better in person. I'm just one of those people. All right, so obviously I'm back home. It is currently around two o'clock. I left work around like 12.45 because I get my kids um, back tomorrow morning. They should be here around 9.30. So I don't want to get home super late and just be like super cranky and like sleep deprived because I'm seriously like a baby. I need my sleep and I need my food too. But what I'm doing right now is I'm just like chilling before I get in the bath and having some food. I have... Um, some leftover lobster um, raviolis and some minestrone soup with some Italian bread. I had some Italian with a friend um, before I went to work today, so this is leftovers. I have like tons of leftovers. I actually have a bottle of wine too, but I'm just so over drinking at this point. I've been going out since I've been single. I've been going out so much. I'm just like between going out and like living my best life and work and all this I'm just like I feel like just so exhausted I'm like honestly tomorrow I'm like turning off all my like all my notifications like I don't want to talk to anybody like I'm not angry at anybody I just feel like drained anyways so let's see how we did tonight I got at work I got to work probably like 9.30ish, I got on the floor around 9.30ish and I left at 12.45 and I didn't have a regular today come see me actually. I, there was two people that I knew there, um, two regular customers, but I just, it's, it works getting repetitive, um, having the same clients come see me over and over again. like. I'm really grateful that I have that because I know a lot of other girls don't have that. I get to like, basically I schedule appointments for people to come see me for work, but it's gotten to the point where it's like, it's almost repetitive. Like I almost just like want a break from like, I, I don't know. I, I need to change. Cause I, I'm, like I said, I'm feeling drained. I, I didn't have anybody come see me today cause I just wanted to switch things up. I got lucky. I met um, two guys from New York and I, they bought me a bottle of champagne. They got a bottle of Tito's. They got me a bottle of champagne, they took me upstairs, it ended up being really generous. Long story short, let's see how I did. One, two, my, these are not organized, hold on. I usually keep them organized. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, one hundred. One, two, three, four, five. 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 300, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 400, 1, 2, 50, 
So we're at 450. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 508 from 930 to 1245 so I can't complain about that I'm pretty happy and I don't know pretty happy can't complain I mean literally all I did was dance around and drink champagne in the VIP so and now I'm gonna eat my lobster ravioli before I go to bed like I feel bad that I was complaining earlier because, like, I know I have, like, a really good life and a good paying job, and I feel, like, super blessed, but I'm also just, like, tired. Since I moved here, I haven't really taken my kids, it's been about a month now, a little bit over a month since we lived here. I haven't taken my kids to go do like anything fun or, you know, have like a really like, like quality time with them. So on Monday I'm taking them to go do something special. I think I'm going to vlog it. I decided I'm not putting like my kids in my actual vlogs anymore, but I'll vlog like where we're going and stuff like that. I decided to turn this into like the, like a week in a life of a stripper instead of just like a day in a life because the day in the life, or they're just kind of like getting boring to me, like, yeah, so I'm just going to eat this, um, watch some TV, and then like take a bath and relax, go to bed, because I get the kiddo jack tomorrow, I'm really excited, I miss him so much, I get all emotional when I think about it, I mean it's fun to be free from the kids, but like it's just like an adjustment to not have them all the time I'll get used to it I'll get them back tomorrow, so. Anyways, I'm gonna stop crying now. On camera, this is so fucking weird. I hate when people would do this. I hate when people cry in front of cameras. It's like, what the fuck? I just miss my babies, that's it. No biggie. Like, I share them. I'll get them back tomorrow. And mom has got an awesome weekend planned. We're gonna have so much fun. I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm gonna take you guys with us, so. Anyways. Yeah, I'm gonna eat this food and like relax. Like, I wonder if you guys can hear the birds chirping, but. I don't think they're doing it anymore. They woke me up. It's early. I'm on like three hours of sleep right now. I should be sleeping because the kids are going to be here in like an hour or so. Maybe two. Two hours. But I need to get blackout curtains because between the sun and the birds chirping and the city's up. I can hear um, the ambulance and just cars driving by and airplanes. It's just like it woke me up. I feel well rested though, which is like, it's so annoying. Not that my body does this, it just wakes itself up. But, yeah. I get my babies back today. Okay, so when I picked up the kids 
because they ended up not getting dropped off. I took them to this place. My son Ashton loves it. He actually asked me, he's like, hey, can we go to the place with a big teddy bear where they have donuts? So I guess it's a donut shop slash like coffee place. We love it. Oh my God, it's so, so, so good. And it's a really cute spot. It's just one of those spots that I've been taking my kids to now for a few years and we've, you know, created happy memories and we just love coming here. I mean, look at how huge this donut is. This place is awesome. Okay, so I just woke up from the best nap ever. Honestly, like, my kids are amazing. I got them back this morning and we did, you know, donuts and the car wash and we went to go visit grandma. But because I was on three hours of sleep, like, I just, I couldn't do anymore. Like, my, my energy was just like, I was falling asleep. So, I literally took like a two and a half hour nap and they just hung out downstairs and watched movies and colored and ate Fruit Loops. But it is, um, almost dinner time. So, I'm going to bake a whole chicken. My son loves it. He calls it the juicy chicken. Mom, can you make can you make that juicy chicken? And my daughter will literally eat anything that I make. So that's what I'm about to do right now. I just got this apron for myself. If you guys are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I gotta put my hair up so I don't get any um, hair in the food. But yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna make some food right now. Okay, so I'm still a rookie YouTuber. Um, I filmed myself like prepping this and then I realized that the camera was like right here and you guys couldn't see anything that I'm doing. So <laughs> I'm just gonna like switch this around and show you guys and kind of like explain to you really quick. It looks a little funny right now, um, but it's gonna look really good when it's done. I make these all the time, like my family loves them. So here we have my masterpiece. All right, so what I do is I just season the skin really well. I used a seasoned salt, and then I used um, some fresh cracked pepper um, to top it with. And then on the inside of here, I sliced up an apple. I stuffed it with an apple and some rosemary. This way, like, it's just really, really moist. Like I said, my son calls it the juicy chicken. And then um, under the skin right here, what you see are... Um, little slices of butter so I kind of like peel up the skin from here and from here and I stick the butter in there so obviously when it cook it melts and it's just really super moist and then obviously you can see that I topped it with some more rosemary I cook it at 425 for about an hour but I have like a thermostat or whatever you call it to just make sure you know that it's cooked completely and I let that sit for a while until all the juices come out and then sometimes I'll throw like potatoes in there and let them cook in the chicken fat it's really 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 good okay so while the chicken is baking I'm gonna get some brownies started these are my favorite kind um, I try to always have like baked goods Ashton Riley get dressed my son's in the tub and I always get scared that he's gonna get drowned that he's gonna drown even though he's seven. Anyway, so I always try to like have candles burning. Hey baby, what's up? I'm cooking, I'm hungry too. Anyways, as I was saying, it's super important for me for my kids to have like a good childhood and a nice looking home with you know good quality foods and I try to always have a sit down at the dinner table it's something that is like really really important to me you know um we all know what the effects of a not good childhood could possibly be and um I'm not saying that you know you can save your kids from anything but I'd like to you know give them a good head start and brownies might sound silly I make it with love my daughter really loves them and so do I so all right guys so this is the finished 
results. I put some potatoes and some broccoli in there and my family and I are about to sit down and have a beautiful dinner. I'm gonna make this quick though because I just, I know the kids are really hungry, they keep asking me, so. All right, so it is obviously morning time. Uh, I was a bad mom and I let the kids not go to school today because we are driving to Tampa and hanging out at this awesome man-made lagoon. I've never been, my girlfriend and I, we found it on TikTok and yeah, I'm super excited. But first we're gonna go get some breakfast. Where are we getting breakfast at? What do you want? McDonald's! Yeah, so first we're gonna get some McDonald's and I'm so excited, I can't wait to show you guys. We ended up not doing McDonald's. We did Dunkin' Donuts, we love Dunkin' Donuts. These are like, oh my goodness, I'm so addicted to these. Um, my son got the strawberry frosted one, and then he also loves these uh, bacon snacks. Snack and bacon, I think is what they call it. It's literally just bacon. Here you go, Ash. Thank you. You're welcome, baby. And then I got myself an iced coffee. I'm awful with um, nutrition for my kids. Like to be honest, I give them whatever it is that they want to eat, and it mostly consists of sugar and fast food. But we're not about to work on that today. What? You're hungry? All right, baby, I'll give you a donut. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you guys our breakfast. Having so much fun. Sorry. It's okay. 